Testing GPTs you need, part 001. This is the Thumbnail Maker uh, by Wes Frank. Thumbnail Maker lets you create minimalistic YouTube thumbnails. All you gotta do is start by pasting in your video title. So you can either type to this, or if you have a video that you've already created for YouTube and you need a thumbnail, you can just uh, paste a video title. I'm just gonna come over here and grab one of the videos I've already made, how to build a custom GPT to revolutionize your gym workouts. I'm just gonna copy that title and come back in here and paste that straight into the thumbnail maker and let this thing go to work. It's using Dolly 3 on the back end because this is you know from ChatGPT uh, to create the image and it's gonna create a minimalistic design based on the title of our thumbnail. Okay, our thumbnail is done. Uh, minimalistic illustration for your YouTube thumbnail on how to build a custom GPT. Uh, this is the image it created. Uh, it's a little bit busy for me. I think you know Dolly isn't great with text, uh, but let me know what you think about this one. What's great about it is that we can go ahead and change it. We can say, make it more vibrant and remove the text. And we can see uh, what it comes up with the second time. So we'll give this another second here. Overall, I think it's a pretty great little custom GPT here. Really cool, really simple to use, really straightforward. Doesn't always give the best results, uh, but I think with a little bit of fine tuning and a little conversation with the GPT itself, you can probably get something pretty close and then maybe bring it into Photoshop uh, to do a little post-production, a little editing there to get it looking just right uh, for, your, for your thumbnail. So here we go, okay, updated, vibrant, and minimalistic illustration for your concept, now without text. This is feeling a little bit closer to me. Uh, which version do you like better? What do you guys think of the results? Let me know in the comments. In order to install this, uh, you just gotta come over to Explore GPTs. You can just type in YouTube thumbnail and let that load and you come down here, you can see it's the Thumbnail Maker by Wes Frank. That's the one we were using today, but you can also see there's a lot of different variations of this, uh, maybe something you want to try out. So let me know what else you guys would like to see. If you want to learn more cool custom GPTs, just drop me a follow. Uh, this is the Sticker Wiz. It's gonna help you turn your wildest dreams into die cut stickers. This is by ChatGPT itself, so you know that it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, what this GPT does is basically just that. You type in an idea and it's going to generate a sticker for you. What's really cool about this one is that it actually links to Sticker Mule, which is like a really reputable uh, print-on-demand sticker company. And so you can actually take your designs that you make right here in StickerWiz and turn them straight into printable designs shipped to your house. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It says, can you make cool stickers for my laptop? Or conversation starter, I want a cute manga style sticker of a cat. I like this one. I think it's really great. Let's go ahead and just use that conversation starter. Obviously, you can go ahead and type in whatever you want for this. And so we're just gonna give it a second here and it's gonna create a sticker for us. Uh, let's see how we're feeling about it. Okay, we're done. Uh, here's a cute manga style cat sticker design for you. Let me know, how do you like it? Leave me a comment. It's looking pretty cute. I can definitely see this as a sticker for my laptop. Um, if you want, it says, let me know the quantity and size of the stickers you're interested in. So we can ask it, you know, can you give me more details on quantities and sizes? In case you're kind of unfamiliar with what those are, here's the details for the quantities and sizes. Uh, common quantities, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000, uh, if you're feeling crazy. Um, really customizable width and heights, but it says common size for stickers, two by two inches, but you can choose any size. I think two by two, three by three, four by four. Uh, it's pretty typical. Um, in order to use this, I know that you're gonna wanna save this image out first, so you're just gonna go ahead and click this little download button. Uh, and then you can either, you know, ask it to provide you a link, but what's really cool about it, since this is ChatGPT, you can go ahead and make changes to this right here just by talking to the GPT and we can say, make it more vibrant and 3D illustration style. Let's see what it does here uh, with that instruction. These are really cool. I actually haven't had any of these shipped out to myself yet. I'm really curious. Uh, what happens since these already kind of look like die cut stickers, they already have this border and things like that, which is typically something that actually comes from the manufacturing process. Um, so I'm curious what happens if you were to take this image straight and provide it to, um, you know, Sticker Mule or another print on demand company. Like I think you're going to get this white border around the image and then another white border around that. So you might have to do a little work in Photoshop to get it looking just right. Uh, but I think this is really cute. This is a new image it created. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys like. Um, this is pretty cute, really cool. And you can, you know, go back in here and ask it, uh, you know, please provide the order link. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask it to do that. And it's gonna ask me, you know, the quantity and size of the stickers you like. If you want 100 stickers, each has to be two by two inches. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. 100 stickers, two by two inches. So it's great. This is gonna automatically populate the order link for you with the quantities and the sizes that you want. Uh, makes things really easy for you 
What I have noticed is that the links that it gives you now are actually not clickable. And I think this is probably uh, a privacy and a security thing that OpenAI has been doing, which I'm totally all in favor for. You don't want anyone clicking uh, any malicious links out there. Uh, but what you can do is you can just say, I can't click that link. And what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna provide you the full URL for the link and you can just go ahead uh, and copy and paste this straight into your browser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open a new tab paste that right in. It's gonna take you over to Sticker Mule and you're just gonna to wanna to choose the file uh, that we downloaded earlier. It's gonna upload that file, give it any additional uh, information if you need it and you can click continue. Right here, it gives us the quantity, 100 stickers, two by two die cut stickers uh, for a total of $73. You can just go ahead and check out right here. In order to install this GPT, you just gotta come over to explore GPTs and type in Sticker Wiz right here in the search bar. They made it really easy. And it's the first one that pops up, Sticker Wiz by ChatGPT. Just go ahead and click that. It's gonna open a new chat window for you and you can start creating. If you want any more cool custom GPTs, just drop me a follow. Progressively GPT, this creates a series of images, each progressively amplifying a specific theme or characteristic. This one's just for fun, really silly. They got some great conversation starters here. A hockey fan that gets more obsessed with the game, a cheeseburger that gets progressively cheesier, a lottery winner that keeps winning more money, a cat that keeps getting promoted at work. Uh, I think this first one's really funny, a hockey fan that gets more obsessed with the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and click this. Obviously you can type in whatever you want. Uh, dad who gets progressively more dad, a sloth that gets progressively cuter over time. Uh, really the idea is that something gets taken to the more and more extreme with each new revision. Uh, progressively GPT generates a series of five different images for you that gets uh, progressively more something as it goes along. So here's the first image, a hockey fan that gets more obsessed with the game. Uh, this guy's just sitting at home watching the game on TV. Seems pretty casual so far, but ChatGPT is already using Dolly 3 image generation in the background to cook up, to cook up the next image. So, okay, here we go. Uh, now he's at some sort of sports bar slash hockey rink. I don't know where this is, uh, but this seems pretty cool. I wouldn't mind being there. Uh, so he's getting a little more into the game. Uh, we're going to keep going. we got three more images to create. This does this all automatically. Um, okay, so now he's at home. He's taking things a little bit more seriously. He's got all the memorabilia on the wall. He's got his face painted. Uh, he's ready to rock. I don't know what that is that he's holding, uh, but you know, these AI image generators are a little hit or miss. Okay, here's image number four. This guy is fired up for the game here. Uh, he's got a small man in the background, uh, some fans cheering uh, in his home arena. He's obviously got on all the hockey gear and he's holding a trophy. He is pumped up. Uh, image number five, this is the last one. Uh, again, you know, these image generators aren't great with text. It says Interversity to our Ev. I don't know what that is, but you can tell this guy loves his hockey. He's got the full thing going here. He is obsessed. I do not want this guy coming to my house. I'm sorry, but this GPT is really, really fun. Uh, in order to install this, just come up to Explore GPTs over here. You just type in progressively. Uh, you come down here and you can see progressively GPT by Wes Frank. Really fun, super easy to use. Uh, great for memes, social media, any of that stuff. Video AI by InVideo. This is a video GPT that creates stunning videos for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and Shorts. This is by InVideo AI. This is a complete AI video generator based from just a single prompt. You can create an entire YouTube video or TikTok video. Uh, really easy. You can say, let's create a video. It's gonna go ahead and give you some prompts. Uh, you can create a YouTube Shorts, an explainer video or we can go ahead and create a script. We can either create it together uh, with the GPT or paste in our own. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a video from scratch. We're gonna say, uh, create a 60 second YouTube short on the topic of, can you feed dogs cheese? And we're gonna say, uh, have a English male voiceover, keep the music light and happy. And we're just gonna go ahead and click enter and this is gonna do all the work for us and in just a matter of seconds, uh, we're gonna have a whole new video for us. It's really pretty incredible. What this is doing right now is it's asking you uh, if we want to uh, allow ChatGPT to talk to the NVIDIA website and we wanna click confirm. This is an added security measure by OpenAI. I think it's really great that they're doing this to make sure that we're talking to exactly who we wanna be talking to. And look at that, in just a couple seconds says the video title, Can You Feed Dogs Cheese? Uh, quick guide is ready, we can watch it uh, just by following this link. So we can go ahead and click this link right here. It's gonna open up the NVIDIA website. Uh, if you don't have an account, it might ask you to create an account. You can just go ahead and do that. 
Uh, and right now it's creating this 60 second YouTube short video on the topic of can you feed your dogs cheese? The video should discuss whether it's safe for dogs to eat cheese, including the benefits and potential risk. So right now it's preparing our video for us. And this might take some time depending on how many people are using the service at any given moment. Uh, but really all things considered, it's really very fast. So right now it's analyzing the video. Uh, what this is gonna do, it's gonna pull all the scenes from stock video and stock image site. Uh, it's gonna create the script. It's gonna create the voiceover for it. It's gonna put all the scenes together. It's gonna create subtitles. It's gonna do all the work for us. Uh, really quick, easy way to generate a ton, a ton of content uh, for your YouTube channel, your Instagram or TikTok, whatever you're doing uh, based on a topic. And I'll show you when you're done. So right now this is cooking. We're just gonna let this cook for a little bit uh, and I'm gonna come back once this is finished. This is awesome. Our video is done uh, just a couple minutes, probably took about two minutes all in all for this to finish. Uh, right now we're previewing it in 480p. We can export in HD. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this video and see what it came up with. Ever wondered if Fido can share your love for cheese? Well, the answer is yes, but with caution. Cheese can be a great source of protein and calcium for dogs, but moderation is key. Overindulgence can lead to obesity and other health issues. Some cheeses like blue cheese are... So you can see how awesome this is, how easy this is to upload. Uh, the other thing that you can do, which is really great, this is still like using AI, it's still live. We can literally tell it uh, to change the first scene of the video. Uh, and it's gonna go ahead and do that. We can also go into edit. We can edit the script here. You can see all the scenes up top. If you wanna go in and change a specific one, you can go ahead and make changes to that. Um, you can upload your own media. It's really, really very cool, very impressive. Uh, you just wanna know that it is using premium stock footage. So if you wanna have access to the premium footage, you are gonna have to pay for an account. Um, you can see the pricing here, uh, free for $0 a month. You get 10 minutes a week of AI generation. Uh, for exports it's going to have the nvidia logo on it uh, but as soon as you start upgrading it's going to remove that logo it's going to give you 80 iStock credits a month 50 minutes a month of ai generation unlimited exports uh very cool so in order to install this gpt uh, you're just going to want to come over to export gpts and you can just type in nvidia and it's going to be this first one right here video ai by nvidia you just go ahead and click that it's going to open up a new chat for you and you can tell it what you want you can say make it a vertical video if you want something uh, for Instagram Reels or uh, for TikTok. If you want to learn more about cool custom GPTs, just drop me a follow.